Okay, part two. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. Um, I noticed that it's stopping and starting and stopping and starting. So it's not your computer, it's actually my video. And I may have to re-record this if I can't find a way to fix it. Um, so, eyeshadows. Um, I haven't done a lot of high-end purchasing. Um, because I've just... Um, I've done a lot of high-end purchasing of my shadows. Um, but there are just so many, there are so many comparable shadows out there right now. Um, I watch a lot of dupe videos, um, which precludes me going out and spending $14 in a MAC shadow, when I know, for instance, you know, I can get one of the uh, six pan Wet n Wilds, and oftentimes several of the colors in these pans are dupes for the MAC shadows. Um, so, speaking of Wet n Wild, uh, I've gone a little bit nuts with the Wet n Wild, uh, primarily because where I moved to has just about everything that Wet n Wild um, manufactures, which was not the case in where I've been living prior. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time on these because you all, most, I'm sure you all know these. Um, I've always wanted to get the... And I'm not sure what the name of the um, the series was or whatever, but um, uh, Lust, Pride, Vanity, and Greed. Oops, there they go. And funnily enough, I was going through um, just a straw or wicker basket of shadows that I have, and I already actually do have Lust and Greed. So they'll be up for sale, the new ones will be up for sale on my blog. Um, if I don't take them back to the store first, but um, I know that they're, um, I believe it was as of March 1st or April 1st, Wet n Wild discontinued production of the six pounds. So I may just put them up on the blog because there may be some of you that would like them. Um, and then um, one of my lovely friends here on YouTube, Makeup Diva 24 uh, Kelly, um, very kindly sent me a pedal pusher. And I received this a couple of months ago, um, and I have thanked Kelly, but again, Kelly, thank you so much for doing that for me. Um, and these are all now available um, at Canadian Superstore anywhere where I am, which is great. And then I purchased Comfort Zone, and I actually don't really, there's, there's only these three here that I would use, but they're also in the six pack. So um, I'm going to give this to my stepdaughter because she does like those colors. Um, so I'm happy to have those. Um, and I did get Walking on Eggshells. And I primarily picked this one up as well as the six pound um, because of Cookie Mix 67. And there's another lady um, who did um, excellent dupe videos. And primarily because the majority of these are dupes for MAC eyeshadows. That was prompt my purchases. Um, now, I do have, I just have them in my hand. Oh, here they are. I'm getting a little over organized here. Um, sorry about the volume, you guys. Um, I picked up Nutty. And I picked up Sugar. Oops. And I love the sugar. It's very pretty. You know, and it just kills me. The fact that, you know, these are, what, a dollar, two dollars. And, you know, these are dupes for a Mac at $14 a show. I mean, it's just, it's freaking crazy, you guys. You know, I mean, if we had it together, I think we should really be protesting the prices of a lot of this stuff. But that's just me. Um, then at um, a pharmacy uh, near where my mom lives, they had, um, they always have a bin with discontinued items or things that they put on, you know, marked down. And I found this beautiful Marcel palette. Gorgeous. Uh, the palette is Fairy Tale Mix and it's from the Fantasia Eyeshadow Quad palette from Marcel. Now I actually, I've only, I think, swatched the purple. I mean, the pigmentation in these are, oops, 
absolutely gorgeous. And these are all colors that I love. So, and I'll just, and there you go on my arm. I mean, the pigmentation, like I said, it's just, it's wonderful. They're smooth and creamy and they're just right up my alley. And they're, uh, from what I can tell, they're, they're wonderfully blendable. So that's another thing. And this was $2. And I wish I picked up the uh, neutral one, but I didn't think that far ahead. I didn't actually plan on moving to where I'm currently living. So there you go. Um, but that teaches me that sometimes when I have that sense of I should pick another one up, I should just do it and listen to my instincts. Um, and then I did follow the the trend. Um, actually, it was Stacy from uh, Jules123. And I'm going to put all these lovely ladies' links down below. Um, I'm going to be doing a shout out um, video, share the love video in the next couple of days, but I want to put their links here anyway. So it was Stacy that actually I originally saw these um, Maybelline 24, ta 24 hour tattoo eyeshadows um, on her video. And so the first one I picked up as a consequence of listening to Stacy was Bad to the Bronze. And I'm sure you've all either purchased them or know what I'm talking about. And that's, whoops, there we go. So that's Bad to the Bronze. This is Pomegranate Punk. And, um, as I said in the previous video, I did do swatches on these for my other, with the camcorder, and I'm not going to do it again, <laughs> because I'll tell you something, these last forever. Um, I did wear the Bow to the Bronze one day, that was the only one I've worn, and I swear to God, I put it on my arm to do a swatch test, it lasted for three or four days, and I mean, I had showers every day. Um, and it lasted on my eyes for well over 24 hours. And so this one is too cool. And this is beautiful. I tend to, um, now particularly with the too cool, I use it as a bit of a base and then I put mm, a, like a cream over it because I find it to be quite a stark white. But I do like it on the inner corners, minimally. Um, and then, now I can't remember if it was Stacy or somebody else, but anyway, I picked up one of the L'Oreal Color Infallibles. And this one is in Hourglass Beige 002. Now this wasn't actually the one I wanted. Um, oh, okay. What's with all these? Oh, I see, okay. Um, so there it is. Now, it's actually quite pretty. It's a very pretty neutral. Whoa. And somehow, you guys, I think, I don't know if that's the way it, oh, okay. I thought it was falling out like the uh, hard candy highlighter. Um, and then again, because of the beautiful Stacy, um, Stacy had worn, I don't, actually, I don't know if you're still wearing it, Stacy, um, Rose Gold from Bobbi Brown. And it looks stunning on Stacy, and I've been hankering after that for ages. I tried to order it through Sephora, and for some strange reason, I, I can't remember why I couldn't order it, or the price was different, or something was odd about it, but anyway. So Stacy, very, very kindly on my behalf, um, I purchased it through Stacy, and then she um, sent it up to me from the States. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, it's the middle finger, sorry you guys, and it's, I mean, it's very similar to the rose gold, oh, you can see that, um, there it is, the rose gold highlighter that I purchased today, um, love the way it applies, it's almost a cream texture, very blendable, I love, I love it. So again, Stacy, thank you so much. That was so kind of you to do that for me. Um, and then over the last week or so, I'd say probably the last three or four days, I've been hearing about Essence eyeshadows. Now I know I heard it heard 
of it from, or of these shadows from, and I, I'm going to get it wrong, Jean, Susie Babs went. Um, and then I also heard it from uh, Love Love Beauty One and Lon Cara. And lo and behold, when I went in today to purchase the Elizabeth Arden uh, Illuminator Highlighter, what did I see but Essence Beauty products? They just brought them in, so I was so happy. Anyway, so I picked up In the Clouds Shimmer Effect Shadow. And it's actually, there's the true color right there. And this is, um, it's a violet color, but, and it's, I mean, oh my gosh, like, look at that. I mean, you just can't beat that. Very creamy, not too powdery, not too much of a follow-up, so that's awesome. And I actually saved the receipt, so they were $2.49 each. <laughs> I mean, that's a full pan of, of shadow. I think it's... 2.5 grams, and these are made in Poland. It wasn't that interesting. I'm wondering if I investigate that a little more if they're not put out by Inglot, because Inglot is also a Polish um, brand. And then I also picked up Disco Diva, and this is a metallic effect. And again, that's the true color. And again, just I mean, the pigmentation is just freaking awesome. So, um, I mean, look at that. Holy moly. So, I mean, for just over $5, I got two fantastic shadows. So, you know, I'm going back to pick up. I'd like to probably get some of the neutrals. Um, now, I have picked up a few more shadows, but they haven't arrived yet. So, let me do all, just do another haul. And I'm going to cut this video here because I'm not sure if it's the length that, as I said, was causing this freezing um, before. And I'll come back and I'm going to do my Coastal Sense haul. Okay, see you in a minute.